Hello, friends. Do you hear that? That is the sound of rain dripping from the gutter on the roof down through some kind of pipe. And it's beautiful. You ever you ever just take the time to listen to rain? Usually we're too busy to listen to the sound of rain. Especially on a gray day, because on a gray day like today, where there are no leaves in the trees, a gray day like today, who wants to listen to rain on a gray day? I've been listening to the rain, and I've got something to tell you about the nature of the rain today. It fucking sucks. <laughs> because I really want to record this video without rain. But, I've got a means of compensating for the pitter-patter of rain. If you just give me a moment. Here I am, compensating for the rain. It's really a compensation for the irritation in my own mind. And you will notice, unlike the other videos, which take place during 2 or 3 in the afternoon. This takes place about 4.45 in the early evening where there's no sunlight because it's now winter. And for that reason, I have five lights entrained upon my face right now which make me very yellow. So I'm wearing sunglasses, which I will take off. You all may also notice that I don't have my cap and I'm wearing a coat. And I will now take off my glasses, put them over here. I'm celebrating today. I'm drinking. I saw a video on YouTube by a woman um, who goes under the name Reality Calling and was talking about masculinity. And I got really excited and I was like, I have to do a video. I have to let my hair down. I have to just show my facial hair. Be a man, be a man's man. So I'm drinking, celebrating. Uh, also, I have an even greater cause for celebration today because I, if you look carefully, see that? Look carefully. I was microchipped today. I went to a government office downtown I went in and I waited in line behind like hundreds of people and I got a microchip implanted in my hand. Oh man. Now typically I get really lost. I'm very disoriented. I don't have a very good GPS. And the great thing about this microchip is that it helps me say, stay oriented because it has a GPS system in it. And I have to just with my phone, which I didn't bring, I kind of monitor where I am at any given point. So for example, it took me two hours to get to the microchipping facility because I lost my way on the way uh, to my car, which is actually parked out in the driveway. But I went outside and I was besieged by all these really deep metaphysical thoughts and uh, I just couldn't even see my car. It was right there. So I get lost very easily and one of the great benefits or perks of the of the microchip, which is called um, the RFID microchip, radio frequency ID, is that it is plugged into a database that's plugged into a satellite that can therefore monitor my movements everywhere. It could always tell me, it's like, it's like a dog. Um, a dog who, um, you know, when you lose a dog, you can track the dog, you can monitor the dog. Anywhere the dog goes, you get to know where they are. But what's cool, what's cool about the RFID microchip is that I have a premium premium uh, package, kind of like a monthly membership deal where I pay a little extra every month and it, it zaps me if I happen to kind of, what's the best way to describe this? You know how there's like this concern about fake news on the media, uh, about these alternative uh, independent uh, newspapers or websites that give you perspectives that are different than mainstream news media. Well, I have a, 
as part of my premium package with the RFID chip, I have a device in my brain that will kind of shock me a little bit if I start to think in alternative ways, ways that question official narratives uh, granted by you know the state effectively. And so this is really good for me because I tend to, you probably can tell from my Facebook posts in general, I tend to kind of think outside the norm and I, I endanger myself. Uh, probably my longevity in general, I'll, I'll drink to that, because I'm a little uncontrollable. So what I thought was if I could get this premium package, I could kind of shock myself every time I started to question things. And this is uh, part of a contract with the NSA and the CIA who will monitor my mind in real time. And basically give me feedback as to when I am derailed, you know, when I'm really thinking things I shouldn't be thinking. So that's cool. Um, also, there's my bank account, my social security, my uh, passport, what else? My, uh, my medical information, all of that is packed into the chip, which is really cool. So let me give you an example. Say I want, ah, did you see that? Because I plugged, ah, 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 there it is. See, right now I'm getting shocked. Ow! Wow. It's really effective. I just got very high voltage electrocution in my neocortex because, whoa, whoa. I, w I was trying to think outside the lines. It's like when you're a kid and you color outside the lines. Ah, wow, that's cool. It's kind of, wow. Also, it's set up so that if I actually move outside of the perimeter that I've designated, then I'll, ah, there it is again. See, it goes straight from the microchip into my brain. Whoa, and so I, I, I designated with the CIA and the NSA and another undisclosed agency that for the purposes of this recording, I can't leave a two foot radius. Because again, I get lost and I start to wander around and I just basically programmed the GPS position. So then if I'm, ah, there it is, total zap. Wow, that is effective. That is so cool. So you can see that because of this chip, when, and there's a special going on right now, you can go to the uh, NSA or the CIA, their websites, you pay $35 a month and you get two of these zap options for $35 a month. So they can zap you if your thoughts get out of line and they can zap you if you actually exceed the perimeter that you've pre-designated in the premium package. This is brilliant. And of course, you know, some people are really concerned that because your bank account and your ID, and your GPS and your social security and you know all these things are connected to the chip that somehow you'll be under control. But what I love about the premium package is that you give the NSA and the CIA the authority to control you anyways. So it doesn't really matter, right? Like what they say is, if you're not doing any wrong, then what do you have to be concerned about? Now, I used to think, well, I'm not the one who's deciding what's wrong or right. Someone else is, some kind of committee of McCarthyites who are so concerned about me thinking in certain ways. But what I've done is like what any good postmodernist liberal thinking uh, mentality does is I've co-opted the opposition. I've colonized the colonizer. I've co-opted the co-opter. It's not bad, right? What you gotta do is if you're gonna be under control, you just need to start controlling yourself. Right? And you take the technology of the oppressor, of the controller, and just say, hey man, I'm gonna take that upon myself to do that to myself. So it's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, every day you're just in this really limited circumference of ow, ow, e, ow, oh of the mind and of the body. It's the cage that you've designed for yourself, man. So fucking drink to that. To you.
me to us. How? Oh. 